Cincinnati Sports pregame show, presented by Sprite. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal, and we have been waiting for this day for so long, day one of the NBA season. The action tonight will be happening out in Dallas, where the Mavericks will be going up against the Chicago Bulls. For Chicago, finally they get to see if the moves made in the offseason and the preparations of the preseason will pay off with a win here in game number one. Shaq, there's nothing quite like the anticipation of opening night. Fans have waited all summer, players have waited all summer, and finally it's here. Uh, was opening night always special for you? It was very special. My favorite part was what I'm about to do now, Ernie. Hello to all the fans. Thanks for joining us out there. I'm excited to see you guys. I know you guys are excited to see us. I love the fans, Ernie. Did, did you always do it this way with yeah. your hands up yeah, like you that? Gotta, yeah, but you also got to put the number one up. Hello, fans. It's me again. I'm here with Ernie. We love you. Hey, gotta, everybody. Got to show him your number one, Ernie. It's me. It's Ernie. Put some I'm, bass in your voice, Ernie. It's me. It's Ernie. I'm tossing to Kevin Harlan. Wait till you're announced. We've not yet lost all our graces. The hounds will stay in chase. Look upon your greatness and she'll send the call out, send the call out, send the call out. <laughs> And we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here at the start of a new season. Along with Steve Kerr and Kurt Kellogg, this is Kevin Hart. It's Western Conference versus Eastern Conference here in Dallas, Texas, where the Mavericks will try to protect home court. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler in the backboard. Inside at the four and five are Gasol and Noah. And it's Dunleavy in at the three. Now here's Rose. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer, Butler. Tyson Chandler grabs the board. Well, a tough shooting slump for Jimmy Butler last season. Some injuries took him out of rhythm. He was asked to play a bigger role offensively after Luol Deng was traded. Still, he's become one of the premier defensive players in the league. And so it's the Mavericks getting on the board first. Rose goes in, and he lays it straight yeah, in. Rose. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. That's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. Rejected by Gasol. Passes to Rose. Dunleavy for three. Here's Gasol, and he banks in the layup. How Gasol? Gasol's got his first bucket of the night. You know, when he's in that tight with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. Novitski inside. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Rose. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Straight to the bucket with a nice head of steam. Well, no reason to slow it down when there's nothing in the way. Here's Ellis. Nowitzki sets a screen for Ellis. He dishes it to Nowitzki. Unloads from 13. That's good. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. And it's Rose penetrating. Oh, no. oh, man, that was unreal. Mark it up. He has a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Yeah, wow. That, that could very well be a contender for dunk of the year and perhaps might make its way all over the internet. I'm uh, with you. I'm with you, Clark. That's a crowd pleaser if I've ever seen uh, it. It's no going to be tough for the defense today. If he's got his A-game rolling here tonight, we'll see. Everyone knows about how strong Chicago is with their defense. Oh, look out. Oh, 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 oh. Tremendous stuff from a guy, Clark, we think more of for his passing. Yeah, but he's got tremendous leaping ability and a surplus supply, too. Well, that's a great aggressive move, and 
And two big points, too. Here's Novitski. And that one's good. Novitski's got six points. Chicago's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Rose attacking, tries to save it. Out to the right wing. Unlady kicks to Rose. Six on the shot clock. And the Bulls tack on two more. This shot is looking really good here in the first. Sure is, Clark, and he's nailing everything. Five for five already. Nelson kicks to Nowitzki. Nowitzki right side. Back to Nelson. Off target from three-point range. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, Kevin, Rick Carlisle and I got a chance to talk just for a bit. He said that their defensive focus, no surprise, will be trying to keep Derrick Rose out of the lane. He added... You know he's come a long way as an outside shooter, but he's a pick-your-poison type of player. We can't let him get into the paint. Makes sense, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. And so we have a trip to the line. Officials are the contest, and he'll shoot two. Monte Ellis is scoring combo guard. The, the highest okay. career scoring average ever. for a player never to be selected as an all-star in this league. Yeah, he's always been on that borderline. Some of it, Kevin, has to do with, you know, he's only been on a winning team three of his eight seasons, so two of those in Golden State, and then, of course, last year in Dallas. But you also think about the depth in the backboard in the Western Conference. Boy, it's tough to, to make that all-star team. Pass to Crowder. Shoots the three. Can't get it to go. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. You know, you shoot the ball as poorly as they did that night, you're not going to win many games. Well, Steve, it's not just difficult to win a game with low shooting percentages like theirs. It's nearly impossible. Rose goes in. Over to the left wing. On Lady kicks to Rose. Goes back up. And foul that hard foul. that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Great job. Take it right at the defense. I like the aggressiveness. And they left with no choice but to foul there. Chicago shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And you look at the numbers, guys. Uh, this team shot a 73% clip over the course of last season. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. For three, Felton. Here's right. Well, it was only a minute of time, but they finally get the bucket. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue to go to the well. That's a two from Butler. Got it off in time, but it's no good. Off to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. Guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? You can see early on, guys, they to go inside and try to establish their offense in the paint area. That's exactly what they've done. And I think that's exactly where they should continue to attack moving forward, Steve. Well, you know, the Mavericks got back into the playoffs last season after missing the playoffs in 13. And this is a team that expects to be a playoff factor, aside from that one season. They've not missed the playoffs since 2000. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the floor for Dallas. Felton is out there with Devin Harris. Then it's Brandon Wright. Then there's Al Farouk Aminu. And it's Crowder in at the four. The Mavericks trailing. Felton attacking. Foul call that time in the way up. That'll get the two chances to the free throw line here. And you look at the legacy of success for the Mavs. You have to go back okay. to 2000 to find the last time they had a losing season. Even in 2013, in what they term a disappointing year, they went 500 in the cutthroat Western Conference. Pretty impressive. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Oh, Already oh. shaking. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatics. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go for it, didn't he? Brad, I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? Nowitzki with a screen on Gasol. And Parsons kicks to Nowitzki. 
and they call yeah, over the back here. Too Richard much contact. Yeah, that and was kind of clumsy looking. He was not going to get away with that. He climbed all over him like he was on the ladder. I mean, that's a easy over the back call there. Ellis, who's checked in for Dallas. Harris against Rose. And the layup's good off the glass. Rose has got six here in this quarter. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Harris against Rose. Harris passes to Ellis. Nowitzki sets a screen for Ellis. And too long on the shot. Monte Ellis is only 6'3", but makes his living in the lane. One of the truly outstanding finishers in the NBA. He's an explosive small guard who is relentless in attacking the rim off the dribble. This is to Harris. Back to Ellis. It's tipped. And he was and fouled all the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, Durk, he has the type of game where he might be able to play till he's 50. Okay. The way he shoots the ball, it creates offense for his teammates. Uh, it wouldn't shock me if he was around Dallas for a few more years. And the Mavericks making a change here. Nelson's checked in. Rose dishes to McDermott. It's stolen by Jefferson. Pass break, Dallas. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Gasol's got five rebounds tonight. And Nowitzki signing a new contract with the Mavs at a discount. In fact, part one of the biggest discounts I think a superstar has ever given his hometown team, trying to give them cap space to add some top talent. Yeah, I like seeing that because guys like Nowitzki and others that have made tremendous amounts of money are now at the point in their careers where they understand it's about trying to win and be competitive and to contend for championships. And, not surprised, though, Dirk has been a model in every way since he's been in the league as a Richard Jefferson. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And I would continue to do it. You know, force the defense to maybe send a double team. Now you've got other options to work with offensively. And here's Rose outside. That drops. Rose has got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. And, fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, guys, Dirk Nowitzki has a game that certainly should age well. He said standing in the corner shooting the three ball will never be a problem. It's the frustration you have to do every summer. Once I get tired of that, it'll be over quick. You've got to put in a lot of work at this age to still perform at a high level. A pretty honest assessment, guys. A great work ethic, Doris, and he holds himself to that standard all the time. Thanks. Tyson Chandler, who's checked in for Dirk Nowitzki. Chicago also making some changes. Taj Gibson's checked in for Muhammad. Miritich comes in for Pau Gasol. And Tony Snell subbed in for Kirk Heinrich. Jefferson kicks to Ellis. Dallas moving it around. Out to Nelson. Jacks up a three. Count that one. Jimmy Nelson's, Nelson's got himself player. on the board with three there. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. And it's Rose penetrating, and he gets it to go. You know, he's showing some kind of a killer instinct this quarter, trying to stretch this lead out. Mavericks trail by four. Chandler with the screen on Rose. Nelson, the pass to Chandler. Chandler with a screen for Ellis. Chandler kicks to Parsons. A baseline J, and the miss by Parsons. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds thus far. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was unbelievable. Look at that. How about that? Look at that. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Nelson kicks to Parsons. There's the bucket. Good. Chandler, Parsons, Parsons got his first two points. How about the passing there? Moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. Rose dishes to McDermott. Rose with the ball. 
and it's Nelson picking him up. Just five on the clock. Roche can't hit. Boy, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. And here's Ellis from beyond the arc. Three points. Another three for Dallas. Dallas. Well, Jameer, looking back at this first half of play, what sorts of things need to happen for you guys in the second half? Well, we need to get stops. The first team that gets stops puts together some strings uh, on the defensive end. I think we'll win the game. And, uh, you know, we have to take more pride in things we're doing. We're doing some things differently, but, uh, but I think we can play a little harder, actually a lot harder on defense. Jameer, thank you. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Doris, and we'll be back for the third quarter of... players who can get hot and stay hot from the three-point line. So I look for him to continue to search for shots out there. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. A fantastic game from Derrick Rose in this one. It didn't take long to see what kind of game he was going to have today. He came out very aggressively in that. A terrific first half. You know, you look at his shot chart, it's all graped up. I mean, he's right at the rim. He's driving the lane again and again. So for Chicago right now, Jimmy Butler. Inside at the four and five are Gasol and Noah. Dunlady is out there with Rose. And it's Butler in at the three, the small forward. Derrick Rose, born and raised on the south side of Chicago, now playing for his hometown <laughs> team. He even became a partner and endorser for Chicago's top deep dish pizza chain. He does represent this town. In the corner, it's Dunleavy. Mavericks with the rebound. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Kev, the Bulls coach Tom Thibodeau, known as one of the most demanding coaches in all the NBA, he said the teams that are special always play with a rare intensity. That's just how championship caliber teams play. He added, I don't think you really feel pressure if you're putting everything you have in each team every day. Sound strategy, Kevin. He's one of the best getting that kind of effort from his players, Doris. Thank you. Rose kicks to Dunleavy. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. Yes, yes. And the Bulls lead by two. Well, I like the way you orchestrated him tight that time, fellas. Feeds it to Parsons. Nowitzki outside. Back to Parsons, and the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Well, we've got a moment to look back at last year's Bulls. Fifth in three-point shooting, eighth in assist, and they were in the top ten in opponents' points per game. And how about the spacing uh, that we saw from this team last year, Clark? You mentioned the three-point shooting in the top five in terms of field goal percentage from long range. And I think it was a direct result of great unselfish play. And it helps when you can employ that inside-out game. You attack a team in the paint and then kick it out for that three-point shot. Mavs coach Rick Carlisle with over two decades of experience in the coaching ranks now in his 13th season as a head coach. Dallas calls timeout. And Rick Carlisle, co-captain the University of Virginia team that made the Final Four, won an NBA title as a player with the Celtics in 1986, and Clark another title coaching the Mavs in 2011. That was really an enjoyable title run that he had with the Mavericks. Did a fantastic job. He's had one of the better win percentages in coaching history. Tremendous tactician. Got to see him work up close during his time as the Pacers' assistant coach with Larry Bird and then the head coach for the Pacers. Brandon <laughs> <laughs> Wright, the former eighth overall pick back in 2007 okay. for his career, Steve, a field goal percentage of around 60%. Well, he's figured out his niche in the league. He wasn't sure what he was when he arrived, but he's a backup big. He's a diver. He's an offensive rebound guy. He's a lob catcher. Uh, so, you know, not a one-on-one -on -one score, but somebody who can play off of others very effectively. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Rick Carlisle was going over with his team in that last huddle. He made no mistake. 
state that their plan was to run their offense through Nowitzki. Coach detailed the ways to ensure he's the one in charge out there, with the ball in his hands and the rest of the players falling in line behind him. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. And right, because he's lightweighted, can struggle in matchups with stronger opponents, but he is a shot blocker. His length really helps him in pick and roll situations. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Chicago shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. That's good from Noah. And for Wright, it seems like he'll always be slight of build, but he hasn't been one to chafe over his playing time. He just focuses on playing well in the minutes he earns. Well, it's funny, Clark. Some people thought that Joe King Noah was considered a bust when drafted by Chicago. Very premature assessment of that young man. I tell you, you talk about having to eat pro for those who felt that way. Mm -hmm. The two-time NCAA champion Noah has now rightly become revered as the heartbeat of this scrappy Bulls team, an All-NBA and All-Star, and also an All-NBA defensive player as well. Shot clock at six. Heinrich kicks to Dunleavy. And it's off from three-point range. Mavericks trail by four. Outside, Felton. Kicks it to right. Butler against Harris. And foul call as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's going to be a quick hunt. Well, Noah has that boisterous, playful personality. Okay. I think his corks maybe threw people off early on, but he's a wonderful teammate. He's unselfish, and I think more than anything, you know, his his unguarded personality sort of helped him connect with his teammates. Al right. Farouk Amino, he's checked in for Dallas. Now Chicago has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. The nine-foot shot breaks a big height house and goes in. Heinrich's got four points this quarter. And for Noah, who is really gregarious and outgoing off the court, but you get in between those lines and his intense competitiveness Bulls becomes foul. apparent. I mean, he's Kurt locked Heinrich. in in all business. That's his third fierce, fierce power. competitor, laser focused on winning. And uh, he's not worried about making a few enemies in the process. Well, Raymond Felton has been throughout his career, very solid starting point guard, but last season was arguably the worst of his career. The shooting percentage tumbled, and I thought at times he just really looked out of sorts offensively. 23 seconds left to play in the third. Off the screen. That's good. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. outside. That will count. Misses. Three quarters of play. Our State Farm assist of the game today. Steve, it's a big man winning the honor. And it was a no-brainer. This assist was really out of this world. He had a great understanding of the situation and where the ball had to go. Chandler Parsons out there with Aminu. Then there's Ellis. And it's Chandler. And it's Nelson in at the one. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Six to shoot. Here's Rose. Sinks the 15-footer. Rose. Rose has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Bulls. Well, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Nelson outside. He feeds it to Chandler. Ellis with a screen on Noah. From about 16, Chandler no good. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open. Just couldn't take advantage. Rose goes in. Outside for Gasol. 
Yeah. It's good. This time the oh, assist from Rose. For three. Rose has got his third assist on the night. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but you know the defense Mavs, still needs to keep an eye on. Him. It's interesting that the Mavs almost exclusively built through free agency. They make draft picks, but they only seem to have a hand in free agency come July. And the Mavericks making a change here. Nowitzki's checked in. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Rick Carlisle was going over with his team in that last huddle. He told the squad, now is the time when we turn it on and leave them in the rear view mirror. It won't be easy, but guys, I know we can put them away. Let's see if they can deliver, Kevin. Parsons' shot is off. The Bulls leading by six. Guy is a potent offense right now. Yeah, Kevin, really the offense is flowing quite nicely right now. Playing with a lot of confidence, just uh, some self-assurance there. I, I like what we're seeing. Rose gets to the soft. Throws down the alley and slam. Really nice Jordan possession Rose. there. Their focus has never wavered as this game has unfolded. And with time running down here in the fourth, they may need to add only a few more points to their lead to put it away. Well, Clark, you look back at some of the big names they were rumored to be in on. Darren Williams and Dwight Howard, they, those two names come to mind. And they missed out on them, but they've always been very good about remaining flexible when they need to be with the salary cap. Outside Butler, and that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Boy, that pass was in the air a long time. Long enough for him to get a finger on it anyway and send it out of bounds. Rose goes in. Again, Chicago. I'm sensing, guys, this game really starting to swing their way. To me, it seems like they're taking charge as their lead gets more and more comfortable. Mavericks, time out. And the Mavericks call time here. Yeah, he's seen enough of this interior scoring that his defense is giving up. So the message during this timeout is I'm going to lock things up inside. You know, sometimes a group can just Jump get in, spaced no, out on defense. They're not connected and playing five as one. And Usually a timeout can help you refocus and recalibrate that. Oh, now, that's out, that's out. Wow, they are just red hot, guys. Not missing a thing. Sometimes you see a player get on a tear like this, Steve, but never an entire team. Nowitzki sets a screen for Nelson. It's rebounded by Noah. Noah's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Boy, they've really won the battle of the board in this one, Kevin. Boy, Assisted. look at the big Jordan ups, Clark. Major bounce there. I mean, he can fly, folks. Really fly. And we're seeing more and more of that, it seems, guys, out of the point guard spot in the NBA these days. Parsons passes to Chandler. Clock at six. Ellis on top. A step back shot here. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. They grab their own miss. Average trail by 12. And Parsons kicks to Nelson. Here's Nowitzki. And the shot goes. He's it's a chance for a three-point play. Now he's talented from that range. That's what separates him from a lot of shooters. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Chicago. Well, they're taking high percentage shots in the paint. I like the way their offense is clicking. They've also jumped on any opportunity they've had to attack the basket tonight. I mean, excellent penetration. Good. Yeah. Nice assist from Nelson. And that's 15 points for Dirk Nowitzki. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. That's good. He is just tearing it Man. up this fourth. That lead's not going anywhere while they're this high. Dallas calls timeout. They're trailing by nine. There's 57 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Ellis. Parsons outside. And he dumps it down. Now the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that jam. And I do not blame him at all, partner. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his uh, way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at Don't least. Boy, they're extending their lead. It kind 
kind of feels like they're just piling on here as we come to an end. Well, hey, let's just call it what it is. They are trying to run it up on them. Ellis kicks to Nelson. The 10-footer. Here's Chandler, and he drops in the nice layup off the glass. Textbook right there. Nice pass, great catch, beautiful finish. The clock now can just run out for the Bulls. Rose dishes to McDermott. A three-pointer off the mark. Nelson, no one around him. Here's Chandler, makes it off the glass. Tyson That's some tenacity Chandler. inside, battling for the second chance points. Throws it from deep. No good. And so it's Chicago winning this one. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, a confident performance tonight, Joe Kim. How does this sort of win feel, and does it help motivate the team moving forward? Uh, it's, it's always good to win. It feels good. Uh, we fought hard tonight. And we just got to keep grinding, keep grinding, and uh, get as many Ws as possible. Joe Kim, thank you as always. We appreciate it, guys. Thank you, Doris, for that. And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying, see you next time, as we present our Jordan player of the game, Derek Rose.